You wave. Hi. You look them in the eye. Researchers at Emory University report that children suffering from extreme social anxiety often misinterpret facial expressions, confusing angry faces with sad ones. These children try to comfort someone they think is sad, but who is actually angry. While socially anxious children long to interact with others, they often get turned away, never sure why. These children tend to become and want to become invisible because it's safer than becoming visible and awkward. Researchers are working to develop better diagnostic tools and interventions to help kids with behavioral disorders master the skill of nonverbal communication. There are therapies to help kids practice interacting with their peers. We don't know this person. How can we get to know this person? What would we say to this person? John. Say hi, my name is John. What's your name? Cody. Well, nice to meet you, Cody. And it's important for parents to encourage their kids to be open about what's bothering them, not to keep their anxieties inside. A lot of people think if someone's anxious about something, you just don't mention it and that'll make it make them feel like it's less of a problem and it's the opposite. If someone's feeling anxious about something, the more you talk it out, the less anxious they'll, they'll be about it. I'm Stacy DeWitt for Connect With Kids.